Good morning everyone. We are Sigourney and Laura and we are going to talk about smart grids. I hope you all enjoy it. Our current electric grid was conceived more than 100 years ago when electricity needs were simple. Indeed, this grid was a network of power lines and substructions that carry electricity from power plants using coal and fossil fuels to homes and businesses. Therefore, power generation was loca localized and built around communities. Most homes had only small energy demands, so the grid was only designed for utilities to deliver electricity to consumers' homes. However, today, the grid has problems. This limited one-way interaction makes it difficult for the grid to respond to the ever-changing and rising energy demands of the 21st century. It needs updating and is running out at capacity. For example, when power lines break or power plants can't produce enough energy, blackouts can occur. At the same time, today's grid often relies on a single power source and doesn't provide detailed information on usage, making electricity difficult to manage. To address these problems in the past, we simply built new power plants, but now we can work towards sustainability and reduce our dependence on fossil fuels by using a smarter grid. The smart grid introduces a two-way dialogue where electricity and information can be exchanged between the utility and its customers. It's a developing network of communications, controls, computers, automation, and new technologies and tools working together to make the grid more efficient, more reliable, more secure, and greener. Let's say a tree falls on a power line and 1,000 homes lose power. With the current grid, utility employees often physically reroute power which takes time. With the smart grid, sensors and software would detect and immediately route the power around the problem, limiting the issue to fewer homes. First of all, Smart Grid incorporates different types of communication such as home area network and wide area network. A ham connects the in-house smart devices across the home with a smart meter. The ham can communicate using wired or wireless Ethernet or Bluetooth. A one, on the other hand, is a bigger network that connects the smart meters, service providers and electric utility. The one can communicate using 3G or fiber optics. Inside the smart home, HAN connects smart appliances, thermostat, and other electric devices to an energy management system. Smart appliances and devices will adjust their run schedule to reduce electricity demand on the grid at critical times and lower consumer energy bills. Indeed, The price of electricity changes throughout the day, but we can see it with the current meters on our homes. It may be expensive during peak hours and cheap late at night. With new smart meters at your home, you can set your dishwasher to one way power is cheap. This provides more control of your energy bill and helps prevent blackouts at peak hours. This is the smart consumption. The smart grid will enable utilities to manage and moderate electricity usage with the cooperation of their customers, especially during peak demand times. As a result, utilities will be able to reduce their operating costs. By differing electricity usage away from peak hours and having appliances and devices run at other times, electricity production is more evenly distributed throughout the day. Utilities can further use distribution intelligence to predict in electricity usage with the cooperation of their customers, leading to lower production costs. This is the smart production. The smart grid also means new ways to use renewable energy. Power generation can now be distributed across multiple sources, so the system is more stable and efficient. Renewable resources such as wind and solar 
are a sustainable and growing source for electric power. However, re rollable power sources are variable by nature and add complexity to normal grid operations. The smart grid provides the data and automation needed to enable solar panels and wind farms to put energy onto the grid and optimize its use. It's this ability to communicate and manage electricity that makes the grid smarter and help us avoid burning more fossil fuels in the future. The charging of a plug-in electric vehicle can be managed over a HAN. The HAN can balance the demand for electricity across the household and prioritize between the electric vehicle and other appliances to manage electricity usage and reduce costs. For example, an owner may program their vehicle to be fully charged at a specific time in the morning. The smart grid will intelligently charge the car when power demands are low and renewable energy production is high. There is also talk among energy companies to create incentives for customers to integrate their vehicle's battery as a source to power the grid during high power demand or blackouts. Indeed, with smart grid technologies and consumer participation, utilities could more easily handle the increased demand for power to run the electricity vehicles and ensure charging needs are met. So now let's talk about an example of a smart grid in France. It's EC Grid at EC Les Moulineaux. It was experienced for six years from 2012 to 2018. The challenges were decrease in fossil energy resources and sustainable rise in their price and considerable increase in electrical energy requirements. The two areas of this municipality of 70,000 inhabitants were fitted with photovoltaic panels ensuring the production of electricity. But one of the big problems with solar power generation is its irregularity. The huge peaks in production seen at certain times of the day cannot be observed by the needs of the local grid at the same time causing losses. This excess production was therefore stored in batteries to be reused when buildings needed it most. This allows for example a residential building that is not very busy during the day to retain its electricity production for evenings with high demand. But the problem is the cost of batteries. So one solution was an agreement with Renault, which supplied the batteries for its electric vehicles, which have become less efficient. The other major component of the project aimed to develop better monitoring of consumption. Individuals and companies had access to dashboards detailing their consumption hour by hour, thanks to the information recorded by Linky Smart Meters. They also had the possibility of being informed six hours in advance of the production of photovoltaic electricity by the district, which allows them to shift their consumption to times when production is highest. But one question we can ask ourselves is, is the smart grid viable? Let's see some of the issues this new technology is facing. Smart grid network improves capabilities to the conventional power network, making it more complex and vulnerable to different types of attacks. These vulnerabilities might allow attackers to access the network, break the confidentiality and integrity of the transmitted data, and make the service unavailable. Smart meters autonomously collect massive amounts of data and transport it to the utility company, consumer and service providers. This data includes private consumer information that might be used to infer consumers' activities, devices being used and times when the home is vacant. A smart grid has several intelligent devices that are involved in managing both the electricity supply and network demand. 
these intelligent devices may act as attack entry points into the network. Moreover, the massiveness of a smart grid network makes network monitoring and management extremely difficult. As every part in the world is now becoming more and more industrialized, it is undeniable that the electricity demand is constantly growing. However, consumers also have to change their way of life. Homes should be more isolated to consume less electricity and domestic solar panels or wind turbines should be installed so that buildings can become self-sufficient. Moreover, the surplus of the produced energy, which won't be consumed by the house, could be sold to public electric utilities. As a conclusion, we can say that the smart grid enables newer technologies to be integrated, such as wind and solar energy production, and plug-in electric vehicle charging. With our participation as informed consumers, the smart grid will replace the aging infrastructure of today's grid, and utilities can better communicate with us to help manage our electricity needs. The smart grid is still a few years away, but soon we will be able to manage our energy bill, help the environment and help the economy by making more informed decisions about how we use electricity. Thank you for listening to our video. Have a nice day.